بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شكرا سيد الرئيس واشكر وفد الولايات Thank you president I would first of all like to thank the US delegation for organizing this um, open debate Today's debate is indeed of major importance for all states throughout the world but in particular for those of North Africa and the Sahara and Sahel region because border security is a major challenge for all those countries trafficking in goods of all sorts across the borders of these countries um, goes far back into history many uh, people in these countries live from the illegal trading that is carried out by organized groups but it has to be said however that the phenomena of trafficking has now become a terrorist act which actually threatens the security of these states first and foremost Libya because the actions of these organized groups is no longer limited to trafficking in drugs and uh, persons but it also it's also a major weapon um, and which is the subject of major competition between these illegal groups last uh, March in Tripoli a ministerial meeting was held um, with ministers from the states concerned and those who took part in the meeting drafted a program of cooperation between the region's countries and this is entitled and I quote the Tripoli plan of action end of quote this plan of action was submitted to the Secretary General and the Secretariat of the United Nations for publication as an official document of the Security Council and of the General Assembly we regret the fact that so far this plan has not yet been published Mr. President, what we have seen in Mali over recent days is really uh, sounding the uh, alarm bell. The declaration of the Azawad state in the north m means not only an ethnic uh, splitting up of this African country, but it's a definite threat to the security of all uh, states in Africa in North Africa the Sahel and Sahara region we all are aware of the fact that terrorist groups and extremist groups armed groups have gathered in the areas controlled by these separatist groups these separatists were trained and provided with weapons and money by the Gaddafi regime Gaddafi had recruited thousands of mercenaries from the four corners of the world in order to help him to suppress the Libyan people who had risen up against his regime he spent money on them he armed them to the teeth and he even went to uh, giving them Libyan nationality after the collapse of his regime those very mercenaries fled and brought with them weapons and money to neighboring African states they are currently being recruited by the final uh, remaining supporters of the Libyan regime particularly Asaidi the uh, the son of Gaddafi who is living living in Niger in order to create anarchy and terror and establishing instability in uh, Libya and neighboring countries he is in fact cooperating with an with uh, Al Qaeda in the Mag in the Islamic Maghreb and also with extremist groups in the desert region, they have also made public plans to destabilize the region. In this respect, the interview given to Gaddafi's son to Al Arabiya on the 10th of February last is clear proof of this and it was also asserted by a journalist who visited Niger recently 
and who met Asaidi al Qaddafi, as well as some of his uh, close military supporters, and he said that Saidi al Qaddafi had said that he was preparing to establish an Islamic state in the region. Mr. President, making borders secure in this very sensitive region is a national responsibility of the first order. It also requires that there should be efforts made by the states of the region and the international community in order to uh, frustrate terrorism and trafficking and illegal migration. It is our hope that the competent bodies of the United Nations will give due importance to these problems. It's also our hope that the United Nations will support the Tripoli Plan of Action that was adopted by the countries of the region by assistance to be given to consolidate institutions and ensure capacity building in the countries concerned because the security in this region is a basic pillar of international security. Libya, whose people overcame Gaddafi and his regime, cannot on their own protect their long borders against illicit movements and illicit cross-border movements, particularly clandestine migration and illegal trading in weapons and other items. To this end, we are striving to promote closer cooperation with our neighbors, and we are mobilizing all our potential to face up to this threat, and we call upon all states and international organizations to cooperate with the Libyan authorities to, pers to pursue the son of Gaddafi and his final uh, supporters and his mercenaries, because they are the main factors for instability in the region. They must be arrested and brought to justice. We hope that all states who are hosting or who have on the territory though senior officials from the Qaddafi regime should realize that they are in fact hosting time bombs that could indeed blow up on their own territory with everything that this implies in terms of negative consequences that would be even more serious than they currently experience. Border control and the prevention of illegal uh, cross-border trafficking is a joint responsibility between neighboring states and should lead to promoting cooperation, coordination, and the exchange of information and, and experience to, con to ensure common security. Thank you.